So we're back in the studio again. I'm going to try and sound a bit more upbeat. I've got everything sorted out. I've got the decks, as in the previous video. The room's a bit more decorated. I've got uh, the podcasting microphone, nice headphones. Those, incidentally, are 1950s engineer headphones. They're really cool. And I managed to find them for three quid. More about them maybe on another video. And uh, a cup of coffee recording bay, everything's a bit more open, move things about a bit. And uh, yeah, so this is the video recording setup. Uh, I'll bring out the lights. So what we've got here is a Tascam uh, DR60D. It's essentially a recording studio in a box and it takes um, the XLR cables and will output all of that to my Canon Rebel T3i which has just got the kit lens on it. Let's see if we can get a nicer view of that. Okay and the reason this is the uh, YouTuber camera of choice is because it's got an articulated screen as you can see and it's got a microphone in socket, which means that you can bypass the terrible microphone on the camera. And so the microphone and preamp work is all done by the Tascam. So that feeds into that and we get good sound because I can deal with rubbish video, but I can't deal with good sound. What I'm using at the moment is uh, essentially a little Panasonic um, video recorder that I use to record all the back of beyond stuff and all the other ranges things once I got some money and uh, down here got the microphone that Graffin gave me that we used for a lot of the podcasting which is a perfectly good microphone very nice and the thing that you have to deal with with DSLRs is they need lots and lots of light so yeah so extra lighting on its way should get some good results at some point so this table is a, a recycled freebie, just a solid office table that was given to me yesterday. And it makes a nice slidey table, an expandable table for this. Which is literally just a piece of MDF, textured MDF, velcroed to the top of a filing cabinet. So this whole desk I made basically out of stuff that I had lying around and then got given the slightly bigger desk. Or the bigger table and it kind of slots underneath it which is nice and space saving and uh, I think I'm going to use the top of this table as a kind of close-up review of objects when they're done in situ and those are my two spare batteries for the camera all fully charged up ready to go that's one thing you should always remember to do when shooting video charge every battery you have just so you're not waiting around and you don't lose the urge to make video because you're waiting for batteries to charge so yeah so we've got the video bay We've got the audio bay, which worked the other night when we were doing recording on a mumble server, which was very nice. Um, so yes, so we've got record decks, audio recording, research, internet. There. And uh, this desk, which is kind of the desk I write at, it's got an incense burner on it and the long tradition of ranges. I always used to burn incense during shows, and I found this table in the street. <clears throat> Perfectly good. Space for a keyboard, space for your laptop or your PC. Lots and lots of useful space just lying around in the street waiting to be recycled. So, yeah. In fact, I think I have only brought two pieces of furniture to this flat. This table here which is the dining table from a caravan it's not a proper desk with fold out metal legs and then chaos bunny from the collective gave me this worktop just it was just a flat piece of wood so i balanced it on this desk which holds all the dj equipment which i built from a pine bed frame literally designed and built it myself this sort of board that goes on top of the amplifier in two blocks that gives me a space for the um, the little netbook that runs the audio from mp3s and WAV files the CD player and then on top of it you've got the two decks and the mixer 
So that board was free. The desk was probably cost me about six six quid in screws and fittings and new drill bits. But I've still got lots of those screws and fittings left over. So it probably cost me about a pound's worth of stuff to put together. Well worth it. Um, the angle joints are like little angle joints for kitchen cupboards that are holding that on as well as the bracing and screws on the end. And then underneath, I don't know if we can get under there, if you can just see there, those are just shelf brackets acting as the 90 degree joins. So that taught me a fair bit about, so that taught me a fair bit about furniture design. Yeah, so that's that. The only, I'm trying to think. Come with me into the lounge. Oh, it's dark in here. So, ugly chairs. Came with the flat. Um, this coffee table came with the flat. Sofa came with the flat. And uh, this coffee table that was my dad's. I brought with me this chest of drawer, this little mini chest of drawers. Um, I just free cycled that from outside. I just put two new knobs on it. And you might be wondering why there's all these cups and mugs and glasses on here. And these are also recycled goods, just left out for the bin men. So what giving those a wash and having those? Because I don't like spending money on stuff that I find boring. I'd rather spend money on stuff. That I want to, that are interesting, you can let me do stuff. And these two chairs, sorry about how dark it is in here. I've robbed the bulb out of one out of here to do the lighting for video. Um, and these two chairs came the other other day, they were sort of recycled, free cycled from a friend of mine who didn't want them in his house anymore and was going to take them down the tip. So, yeah. So, I, oh, the only other bit, anything you could call furniture is this bean bag, which was a gift from the Chaos Bunny. So, bean bag, coffee table. And the caravan table are the only furniture I brought in. But I managed to build all the rest that I needed because I was getting very fed up of not having enough desk space. So yeah. So we're up to speed. I should be creating video and stuff very, very soon with all the new equipment. So yeah, I'm just keeping you up to date with what I'm doing. You're probably not interested. There's probably nobody ever going to watch this. But that's fine. I wanted to keep a record of all the work I've been putting in in the background aside from the actual... Um, videos that I'll be putting out real soon and all the podcasting and stuff but stay tuned let's get creative